today we're going to tackle our first side dish that we're going to be making for Christmas. And we're going to be making spinach gratin. My approach to this meal is a bit more of like a steakhouse meal. My main course is going to be a nice piece of filet. And the sides, I kind of want to reminisce a rich kind of steakhouse feel. So I'm going to do spinach gratin. Basically all that needs to be done is we make cream spinach. We make some cheesy breadcrumb top. Adds different cheeses to the cream spinach. Put it all together in a little baking dish and you got spinach gratin. So it's fairly simple. It's one of those things we can get it all into you know something the night before. You can get bigger ones than this. This is like a nine by four. Um, these are sort of like gratin dishes. What I like to do is have little kind of mini ones scattered maybe two to three of them around the table so that everyone can kind of get a little bit. So it's depending on how many people you have. You could get one big one and just kind of put it all in there. So there's a couple ways to go, but this kind of gives me that steakhouse feel, which I like. The recipe for this is gonna be on my website as usual, so go down to the link in the description. Check out the other links down there too. If you're new here, make sure you're subscribed then you've got the notification bell clicked. And let's just get right into it. You're gonna need a lot of spinach. If you don't know anything about spinach, spinach wilts down to nothing. This is a two pound bag. It's probably like four boxes of those clamshells, but um, just go by weight because that's sort of what I'm going by. It's two pounds of spinach, some Gruyere. It's that real Gruyere. You can see it on the rind of the cheese. I just grated about a half cup and then I also have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. We got some thinly sliced garlic. I use about three or four cloves. You can kind of use however much you like. Just cut them in half, peeled off the skins, and then went through and sliced them as thin as possible. That's how I like them cut. You cut them however you like, but I think this is a better way. Then to make our bechamel, I've got heavy cream, flour, butter. And then in that, we're just gonna drop a few sprigs of rosemary and some thyme. I'm gonna want the milk warmed. I don't want it sort of boiling or anything. I just kind of want to get it. So sort of like just little bubbles forming, just a little steam coming. And then we're gonna be ready to make the bechamel sauce. And then here I just have a cup of breadcrumbs. It's basically a 50-50 blend of panko breadcrumbs and regular Italian breadcrumbs. I have two tablespoons of butter and about a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese. And this is gonna go into our topping. So first thing we have to do is we gotta cook our spinach and I'm just gonna do that in a pan with a little bit of oil and I'm gonna saute them with garlic and I'm gonna do them in batches right so I have all of this garlic I'm just gonna add a little bit of the garlic add some of the spinach keep adding it wilting it down and I'm just gonna show you all how to do that over by the stove right now so a strainer in a bowl because we want to cook this spinach and then get all the moisture out of it so let's just go over to the stove cook the spinach down get that drained out and we can put together the rest of the gratin.
so I forgot to put the herbs in. And so what happened was, I think I my proportion of milk to cheese was off. I kind of grated a little bit too much cheese because I kind of get crazy. And it tightened up the roux too much and the bechamel got thick. So what I did was I wanted to add the spinach. All that moisture was gonna thin it out. And then I knew I had extra cream. So if you know that ever happens, you know that all you have to do is add a little bit more cream. It'll thin it out and it'll make it nice and creamy. You can also chop up the spinach too. Now we're just gonna put the, the gratin together and get it in the oven. I just got an oven preheated at 400 degrees, 425 degrees, doesn't really matter. All we wanna do is get it the spinach nice and bubbly and the crust nice and set. So probably 15 minutes. nicely cooked you know it's not like brown it's not overcooked and cooked to hell it's creamy the sauce is thick it's cheesy and you have this nice breading on top it's really delicious it's a perfect like steakhouse side and uh, you know one of these things is probably gonna feed two three people max depending on who's eating so if you have like three or four of these which the amount that I made probably would have filled up four. Then you know it's kind of got a little six section all over the table for people to have their spinach. From here you learned how to make cream spinach and then turn it into spinach gratin. A couple things I would have done is I added the, the, the heavy cream into the roux when the pan was really hot. Make sure that you don't do that because as you saw it violently overboiled and sort of created a, a thicker sort of mess that I had to fix by adding more cream. So again, there's like a problem you might run into, but just have extra cream on hand. If it looks thick and like kind of unappetizing, then thin it out because it's just kind of got too much viscosity to it. Pair all these before baking, throw them in the refrigerator on a sheet tray, cover them. When you're ready to bake, just throw it in the oven to reheat. And there you have it, our first Christmas side. Next episode, we're hitting twice baked potatoes. Thank you again for watching. Go make sure you read the recipe. Um, let me know if you have any questions. New long sleeve shirts, love them. Think they look great. 20% off now in my store. Everything in the store is 20% off when you use the when you use the promo code. I can't cook. I bought stuff on there yesterday and I didn't even use my own promo code. So be smarter than me if you do buy some things. And uh, check out all my links down below. Thanks to all my patrons. Grateful this time of year. Love you all. See you next time. Take care of yourself and go feed yourself.